So I guess we've all seen plenty of high performance standard shell boards, they're everywhere. Um, you know what one looks like. The ideas that I try and put into my designs are um, just as smooth as possible, as sort of normal and outline as possible, so it's nice and smooth. There's no funny bits that make it go strangely and work in some ways and not others. Basically just try and make it as fluid as possible. The curves in the outline particularly are really just fluid, nice smooth curves, nice even curve in it. Same with the rocker. The rocker's maybe a little bit flatter than a lot of guys because that works well for Cronulla. Um, helps you get up and going quicker and sort of after a turn it helps you sort of go again, um, keep flying, keep, keep your speed and all that. Besides that I guess you've got a full length single concave which uh, again helps you get up and go, um, gives you plenty of speed and sort of the engine room really, the concave between your feet. You've got Lastly, I guess uh, a fairly even volume distribution. You've got most of the volume under your chest and under your front foot, but um, not, not too much forward, which makes the board pivot quite nicely. If you don't have enough forward, your board can pivot a bit too much and you, can't, you don't get going enough. So, again, that's another element that I just try and sort of make marry all together so that it's all a fluid sort of recipe and everything works together. All those things mean that you really do need to get custom surfboards. You, especially in this type of model. This is the one particular board that you need to get custom made. You can't survive by picking them off a rack and just randomly hoping you get it right.